Hello everyone. In this demonstration we're going to cover how to use the reload command and we're going to be using a Cisco 3560 CG switch and we're going to cover some strategies for how to use this command including how to use it to upgrade software and also how to recover from a bad config. So let's go ahead Hello and everyone. begin. Today I'm going to cover how to use the reload command and I'm also going to describe some strategies in which that you could use this command. In the simplest of terms reload will just reload a switch that you're currently working on. So if I type reload, hit enter, it's going to ask me whether or not I want to reload the switch and if I do that it's going to go ahead and power cycle the, the switch. But I'm going to do a control C here because I don't want to do that right now. Some of the reasons why you might want to reload a switch, you update the iOS software and to uh, finalize the installation you'll need to reload the switch. But uh, you, this is not usually a good idea to do it during the middle of a work day. People are currently using the switch. So one thing that you can do with the reload command is schedule it to occur after hours. So if I type in reload at, you can see I can specify a time frame for the reload to occur. So if I put in something like 20 hundred hours, hit enter, you can see that it's going to schedule this to reload in 22 hours and 20 minutes and it will reboot at that point in time. Uh, if I hit confirm, it's go ahead and it's all ready to go. It's scheduled to occur at the scheduled time. If I want to cancel that, like I've changed my mind, I found out that something is going to be going on at that time, I don't want to interrupt it, I can do reload cancel and then it aborts that shutdown that I have scheduled. Another thing that you can do with the reload command is you can set it to reload within a certain time frame. So I can say reload in like that and I can just set up essentially so many minutes or so many hours and the switch will reload. Why would you want to do this? Say you're working on a remote switch that you don't have physical access to and you're making config changes and you're concerned that a specific config change that you might make may cause you to lose connection to that switch what you could do is just say reload in 5 hit enter and as you can see here it says that this switch is going to reload in 5 minutes so um, you can go ahead and work on that switch and within 5 minutes if uh, you don't put in the right config changes and you lose connection in five minutes that switch will reboot and as long as uh, nobody did any type of uh, copy config or, or write mem you don't need to worry about the config changes that you've made causing you to, to completely lose connection to that switch in five minutes the switch will reboot and uh, it will come back up with uh, the, the last saved config so that's about it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks.